Hey guys, this is your girl Miss J back with another video for you guys. Good evening to everyone on this beautiful Saturday evening here in the Windy City. Uh, just sitting here looking out my window at the evening. Uh, it's chilly out today. It's about 73 degrees here in the Windy City. But the temperature will be back up on tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you guys about... Um, a video I was watching uh, earlier this morning. I've watched the uh, channel before. Um, it was such a beautiful, beautiful video of what uh, some people did for those who were were down on their luck. You guys know what I talk about when I say you're down on your luck and um, sometimes you have to reach out for help or someone see you in need and come to your rescue and it was such a beautiful thing i was watching um this father and son both have uh channels here on youtube and this family needed a lot of work to be did to their house and i was just so amazed at the kindness that they showed you know to this family and I, it just made me feel so good all over seeing it because it's that kindness that I always talk about uh, on my channel quite a bit when I'm, you know, want to sit here and send motivations and uh, to a lot of people that, um, you know, I share my thoughts with when I come on this channel. And they did such a beautiful job to their home. Um, you know, the way they fixed it up on the outside you know, I mean, you. I wish you go over and check Cabin on the Hill. I'm going to put it up here uh, on the channel. Go over and check out Cabin on the Hill. Guys, I'm telling you, they did such a wonderful job for this family. Uh, a senior mother who was 94 years old, her daughter, uh, her father, and they just... The way they transformed this house on the on the outside, you know, they, they paint it. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Just go over and check out Cabin on the Hill, a father and son. The son also has a, a lawn care channel that I've been watching for uh, a few years now. And uh, lawn care juggernaut. And he also has a channel, the Boring Channel. And uh, I had gotten hooked on a, on a lot of these uh, lawn care channels, especially those two channels, um, La, Lawn Care Juggernaut and The Boring Channel. He has two channels. And I've been watching him for a few years now. But his dad's ch and mother's channel, uh, Cabin on the Hill, uh, I just started watching it uh, a few months ago. But I will see the dad on uh, Lauren Kell Juggernaut on occasion. He would come over on his son's channel. And I'm just so amazed at the kindness that they showed to this family. You know, helping them out uh, without looking for anything in return. And the mother, well, the daughter of the, the mother, you know, was just so amazed. You know, she cried. And uh, I got teary-eyed myself, you know, just watching. And, uh, you know, they mentioned that word, kindness, kindness. And, you know, it was such a wonderful thing that they did for this family. And I, I wish stuff like that would happen more for people to see that there's still kindness in this world. You know, we see so much that is going on you know, the violence, the hate, you know, the suffering of others, you know, and I, I look for channels like that, you know, to see that there's still people out there who care for someone. It's not all about self. You know, a lot of people like um, a lot of drama channels. They like a lot of channels that, uh, you know, have a lot of drama and profanity and and shaking their behinds to the camera the you know it just it just you know I, I I to each is on to what you do on your channels but I look for those motivational channels those kindness channels 
of what people do for each other. Not saying those people that have those drama channels with a lot of profanity aren't good people. It's just something that, you know, uh, channels like my channels and maybe your channels aren't about. And uh, I was just so happy and to see that uh, this morning, just sitting here watching it and just amazed at how they transform this home, this home you know, to, to help those that are in need. You know, uh, like I say, a lot of those people, you might see their yards, you know, and their house uh, run down. It's not that they don't care. It's just sometimes we fall on hard times. And, you know, and sometimes people notice it. And, you know, and they knock at the door and ask, do you need some help? Can I mow your lawn? And that's what uh, the Boring Channel and Lauren Kell Juggernaut and uh, quite a few other channels that I have gotten hooked on these lawn care channels that I watch. And, you know, we have a lot of seniors, you know, and just, you know, no one there to care for them. You know, not everyone has income to take care of their homes or their yards or their families. And when someone steps in and shows that love and kindness that we look for on this world that we live on, you know, we appreciate them. And I sent a shout out to the Boring Channel, Lawn Care Juggernaut, and Cabin on the Hill. Go over to Cabin on the Hill, pull it up, and go and watch how they transform this family home. And it was such, such a beautiful thing to see something like that. And I just wanted to share it with you guys on that kindness that people continue to show to others. You know, I enjoy seeing it on YouTube when people share it, not just to share it to say, okay, I did this, see what I did. Just kindness, kindness towards other people. Also, I was in the store earlier today doing some grocery shopping and and I, I lost my card. And I was going through my purse and going through my bag or whatever. And I was like, I know I put it in my pocket. So, you know, I had to put my shopping cart to the side, go back out to the car. I couldn't find it. I called my daughter telling her I lost the card. I don't know where it is. You know, um, I looked and looked and looked. I went back to the house for a second, came back, and I went back in the store. And when my shopping cart was still there, because I had informed the teller that let me go to the car and check, maybe it's in the car. And I, I couldn't find it for nothing. So when I got back and got to the register, my buggy was still there. I said, did anyone turn the card in? And so happened, someone turned the card in. Everything was still on the card, you know, no transaction had been made. And I was just so thankful. So when I got in the car, I thought about that kindness, that kindness that someone picked it up, brought it to the register and said someone lost their card. Kindness. Kindness, guys, kindness. There is still some kindness in this world and share it with people. Be kind to people. Don't be selfish and mean and take away from someone who has worked uh, for something or you lost your card or you, you, you lost something. There's kindness. There was a kind person who brought that card to the register and say someone had lost their card. And I am so thankful to them I wish I could have met them and gave them a hug or either pay for their food to say thank you so much for doing what you did. Because if it would have been me and I looked down and saw someone's card or someone's wallet, I would have took it to the register. You know, I wouldn't have walked out with it, you know, and rambled through it and see if it was cash or whatever. I would have took it to the register and say someone has lost their wallet, their card, please try to find them. Either get on the intercom and say someone lost their card or wallet. 
And I am just so thankful for that kindness that someone showed me today. And I just want to share this with you guys. Remember, there is kindness in this world. Good people showing love and appreciation. Being there for one another like we should be. Like our Heavenly Father wants us to be. To be there for each other. Not showing hate. Praying for people. Even sometimes, like I always say, when someone don't want to hear, you know, words of prayer and good things, you pray for them and you move on. So whoever did that for me today, thank you, Heavenly Father, for having them there in that spot to look down and see and say someone has lost their car that has good feeling in their heart to turn it in. And I'm thankful that it was there. But like I say, guys, go over and check that channel out, Cabin on the Hill, and see what that father and son did for that family. I'm going to close this video out here. And I want to wish all of you guys out there who are celebrating Father's Day on tomorrow, happy Father's Day to all of you dads out there. And also to those mothers who are playing that double role as a father and mother. And for those fathers who are playing also a double role, as a father and a mother doing it solo by themselves because you know we have a lot of those people out here who are providing by themselves for their children and just thank you guys so much for all that you do so i'm gonna close it out here and you guys have a beautiful and safe weekend and blessings and good health to each and every one of you guys and i'll see you on my next video so bye for now guys Thank you.